Hello and welcome to Peggy's Tropical Garden. Coming to you with a Walmart road trip to Gibsonton, Florida, located in the outskirts of Tampa. This Walmart has an amazing plant section. So I wanna take you with me today to see what we can see. And here we are, it's late evening and we're pulling up to the Walmart. When you first walk in over to your right is the clearance section. And they have quite a few plants over here. I see some desert rose, um, just all kinds of things. They're marked down a few dollars, but they're not anything I'm looking for, but they're a nice size. And $10 and some cents, that's not a bad price. Um, they're having a cold snap right now, so there's a lot of plants that seem to be in distress. So I'm just kind of seeing what they have. They have some bromeliads and other tropicals. It seems like the most are marked down is like two or three dollars. But they all seem like they could be easily brought back. Look at this one. It has the pothos, and I think that's a Dracaena. But look at that, four dollars and eighty-three cent. And over here, the elephant ears. This is nice looking. And let's see, it's quite quite a good sized plant. Look at that price. $8.88, normally eleven eighty four. So there's some good deals to be had if they have what you're looking for. And a philodendron over here. Let's see what the price is on this. It's in pretty good shape. Absolutely. Let's see, where is a price on this one? Here we go, where is it? Getting closer. <laughs> Where is it? Here we go, eight eighty eight once again. So it seems like they're pretty consistent with their prices. The ones that are normally eleven something are eight eighty eight on clearance. I really like when there's some consistency in prices. It's just not haphazard. Uh, let's see what else. Another philodendron up here, and I believe all of these are eight eighty eight because. For this size, it seems like the going price is 11 something. I'm gonna take this one down and see if we can't just check it out a little bit better and see what the price is. But I'm thinking that it's probably 888 also. Very nice looking. There's nothing wrong with this plant at all. I mean, a little yellowing on some of the leaves and things, but other than that, there is absolutely nothing. Yeah, eight eighty eight again. So I like that. Now going inside, here's the plant department. They have great selection. It's pretty big in here. So eleven eighty four. Seems like all of the ones that are in this size pot are eleven eighty four. Again, consistency and pricing. I like that. Look at the hibiscus. Very pretty. And let's see what else we see. Everything's looking nice and healthy. Yeah, look at the sign. Everything over here is eleven eighty four. So the this size pot is eleven eighty four. Oh, look at these. Nice, nice. Uh, I don't remember what these are at Home Depot, but. And then the iris, eleven eighty four. I'm just gonna go through and just kind of show you some of what they have, and I'll show you the prices as we go by. So some palm trees. Now these are a little bit different. These are fifteen eighty something, and they have blown down or been knocked over. But anyway, they have a variety of palms, and price is right. Let's jump across the aisle over here to the small plants, the small house plants, and um, they look to be the pretty much the same selection you get at your Home Depot or Lowe's in the small ones. And let's see, these are $3.94, and they're also from Costa Farms. They're exotic angels. Um, so same seller, same plants pretty much, and for the most part, the same price, I would say. You have your crotons, your ivy, pretty much what you see, like I said, at the big box stores right now. So let's see what we have here. Here's some begonias. That one's really nice. Three ninety four. Also, all of these are three ninety four. So just give a slow pan over these so you can see what's available, so you can take a look. And um, let's see. And of course, you have your pothos, your golden pothos. 
um, what's a big box store without a golden pothos and these are five dollars so they're priced better than you would find at your Home Depot or Lowe's and they look pretty healthy all the plants pretty much do here are some more plants offered at five dollars peperomia so once again excellent prices and these are nice full plants nice full pots for five dollars and let's see what else do they have out here they have a nice selection i mean it's pretty typical of what you're finding in your stores nowadays and here are some um snake plants sansevarias reclassified as dracaena so um let's see yeah some some fern here we go with some alocasia I have to say I'm, I'm impressed with their selection they have a lot more plants than the Walmart that's closer to where I live and they looked really really good let's see what the price is on these um, okay these are $7.94 so they are not five dollars but that's still an excellent price um, for these plants and let's see let's keep on going and see what we see and let's see these appear to be six inch pot, six inch pots let's see how much these are let's take a look and yeah these are costa farms also and the price on these is ten dollars so again a good price nice healthy looking plant and from costa farms so i'm not a regular walmart plant shopper but what i'm learning here today is i need to search for some walmarts near me that have a larger selection because the costa farms plants are in all of these sellers home depot lowe's and walmart and the prices are much lower at Walmart than I'm finding at the other stores. Um, and so far, this selection here is excellent. And these, you usually see these spider plants in hanging baskets for like 20 bucks. And that one was $12 and something. And as you see, it was nice and full. So I am impressed. On the other hand, I haven't really seen anything offered that you don't find at the other stores. Whereas at Home Depot and Lowe's, you do find some plants that you don't see everywhere. So if you're looking for plants that are pretty common and you want an excellent price, I'm saying if you're near a Walmart that is well supplied, you would probably wanna stop there first to see what they have. Now I'm familiar with this plant, but I've never seen them this big. It's a something's tongue for some reason it's just escaping my mind right now but look at them how big they are and eleven dollars so i've only seen these in the big box stores home depot and lowe's um offered in like the four inch pot so and here you have your corn plants and let's see anything up here that you don't readily find everywhere else i don't see in the hanging basket and of course you have your fiddly figs um, and here they are $17. I believe for this size at Home Depot and Lowe's, at least Home Depot, I believe they were $19.99. So, and here's a rather large, um, golden pothos. And these over here are $25 for the fiddly fig, the large ones, as well as these, um, golden pothos that are on posts. So... Let's move on and see what else we see. Over here are some palms for $17. Uh, oh, here we go with some ZZ plants. And there you go, $21 for those. I think you can beat that actually at Home Depot. I'm not sure, but I believe so. And how much are these Chinese evergreen? And we have some Monstera for $11.84. Ever since I got mine, I just keep finding them for prices lower and lower. 
My feelings are a little hurt, <laughs> but I'm over it. But these look nice and healthy. And then we have some desert roses over here. Mm. And some of these are actually on sale for 10 something. The problem with that is I like to see the flower when I buy a desert rose so I know that I'm not getting a color I already have. And then over here we have some more philodendron. These are nice and healthy looking. And these are $11.84. Same ones that I saw over in the clearance section. Nice and full. And a good price. Let's see. Four, twelve eighty-six for those big ferns. Let's see over here we have some succulents for fifteen eighty-four. Seven eighty-four. I don't know what these are. Let me see. And five dollars. Let's see. There's lots of them over here too. There's like rows and rows of these. What are these? And now we know they are daffodils for a dollar. I've never seen these before. So and they have tons of them. I assume they're different colors, but they don't distinguish between them. And then over here, there's some rather large succulents for $3.97. And they look nice and healthy. Some Dracaena, bamboo, small bromeliads, and some bonsai plants. Okay, now I'm just stunned. I'm inside the store near the registers and there's ZZ Raven plants from Costa Farms in the ceramic pots and I'm just stunned. They are in the ceramic pots in white or black and they're only $15.96. I cannot believe this. I am so shocked. Mind you, I just paid $36 on Amazon for these $36 plus tax and they are $15.96 at um, Walmart in Gibsonton Florida look at this can you believe that and they are a good size these are nice healthy looking plants okay I'm stunned I'm totally shocked also from Costa Farms offered in the white and black ceramic pots are these beautiful begonias that I passed up at Lowe's and I'm, just, I'm, I'm shocked. And again, in the ceramic pot, and they too are $15.96. So I'm just, ugh, this is so unbelievable. I can't Thank goodness I came inside the store to see these. And then up here they have the teardrop plants, also in ceramic pots, and looking rather healthy. Same price. And then right beside it, yes, the Monstera Adansonii, like I purchased on Amazon also, $15.96. In the same display area, they also have some rather large snake plants available for $10.97, as well as a selection of crotons. So on that note, I'm finishing up. I hope you enjoyed shopping with me. I am totally stunned. So if you're still looking for that ZZ Raven, you might want to check your local Walmart. They look like they're readily available now. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.